I know the sun must set came as a result of me wanting to synthesize a lot of grief. Um, I lost quite a lot of people in various ways during the last two years, unfortunately. Decided, yeah, I wanted to create an installation. I reached out to McLean because their style is absolutely perfect for what I was trying to capture. So Akana sent me the music before he had written the poetry so that I could work towards something while he was still working on the poetry. So we kind of worked in tandem, but separately to kind of get to the finished product. So the seven main images, six of them are Lee and one of them is of myself. And then Lee is in the film as well. The whole theme is about like grief and like loss. So that was in the forefront of my, of my mind. We spent about the first few weeks purely just talking, sketching ideas, going back and forth. Even the style of poetry was something that was very technical. There's deliberately no reference to gender or a person but it's all very very personal <laughs> that film is the most personal project i feel like i've laid myself bare with it you know why i explore myself through the process of making it is something deeply deeply personal to me um, that obviously has a lot to do with grief and loss and you know it was a really really challenging process but really worthwhile i love surrealism because i think it's the perfect medium to describe the complexities of life um, life itself is surreal. Um, often we experience a reality where everyone tells us that this is supposed to be normal and we encounter things which are bizarre, strange, terrifying, existential. You know, climate change, racial inequality, the crumbling of our economic systems, income inequality. All these things create situations which are bizarre, which are not real, but you know, everybody tells you that things, that this is normal. There's something kind of dreamlike about that. And I think, I think that state is the best state to tackle difficult problems. I don't want to tell people what to feel about grief. I want to show people my dreams and nightmares about grief and allow them to see that the spectrum of emotion that exists within that dream state is okay. You can only run from something for a certain amount of time, eventually it's gonna catch up to you. And generally, the more time you leave it, the worse it is when you have to confront it, you know, which is, is easy to say, but is a lot harder to practice. You know, and I'm not, you know, I don't wanna sit here and be like, oh, you have to like confront everything immediately, because that's not how the world works. But I think it is important to recognize that at some point it is worthwhile, you know, because once you've, once you've dealt with it, you've dealt with it. But when you're avoiding it, you're always avoiding it, you know. But when I was creating this project, it was, there's something about composing music and writing poetry and that puts you in such a vulnerable state. And I was actually really grateful that I had this kind of support network in the Irish Hospice Foundation to go, um, kind of sad, kind of really, really not okay with any of this in terms of how it's uh, making me confront things that I should, you know, confrontation is uncomfortable but it's also necessary and I feel like I've grown and matured as a person and um, doing this project but I also feel like it's given me a chance to actually deal with a lot of grief a lot of grief and um, I'm grateful you know I do it all again in a heartbeat